giving me a nice little tour of his shop. Got some old cool stuff, man world, y'all. So this is definitely, this is a, uh, a old retired one? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, so the way they do them is they don't actually, when they build them for the military, they don't actually like tag them with the year. And there's different companies that'll like refurbish them at certain times. Had, had you had this one refurbished? No, 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 no. They did. The military did. So the tag on the inside in here, 2010 is when they refurbished it. Underneath it looks like a new, it's some pretty neat stuff that goes on with it. Look underneath this back end. So it's all independent. It's all full wheel, uh, full wheel, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, full wheel all the time. But look where the brakes are. That's, that's your brake. That you brakes. This brakes on the on the hog head. They're not in the tire. They're up here on the axle. Does that make it more efficient? It, just, it, it gives it more ground clearance. So because these are designed, I mean, this of this course is made to. This is designed to drive through 30 inches of water. I was about to say this is. So these are 35s. I mean, so water literally like over dipping into. And I'm sure everything is covered underneath, the same way like the ATVs right. and shit with plates all, and all that. Yeah. This is a marine. Yeah. It's, a, it's old marine. Unit. You find any old shots or anything in it? No, there's one hole over there, but I think it was just from where they were taking the top off. But I of wonder it. if so this it could even be penetrated, like with a well, 45. It's got to be like a. Yeah, this can. But now this model is an M1114. So the M1114 has. Now they change it. They demilitarize them just because they don't want civilians, civilians to have yeah. it. But the original windshield on this, four inch bulletproof glass. Bulletproof doors. Four inch bulletproof uh, glass on the windows. It would have had a steel roof that's about three quarters inch right. thick. And what's this? Right for here. him to stand on gun? So it's got a gunner pole there. Right. On the back side of it, it's shielded behind him and down the sides. Gun racked on top. He doesn't actually stand on it. He sits in a sling. With so, he, his so, feet he's, so he's mobile. Feet. But he sits in a sling and then he just kind of sits his feet and that's adjustable. But it would have had the armor back. It would have had the uh, little like a. Um, uh, hatch or whatever right. back here. So you with that armor plate and everything. That's why you see all the holes. So much you can do with this, man. I mean, so I, thought, I, I thought I got a, I got a bug out bag. I think that's kick ass. Yeah. Fuck my bag. Uh, you getting out with this, man? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build some half doors, just tubular like skeleton doors. Right. I'm gonna just build half doors, and then I'm gonna take and put me a, a um, pillar here. Right. And I'm gonna take and build a little mount and put a pillar here. And you know, like some of the Jeeps, a little soft top back right. to it, and then back to the back snap off. You want to keep it the back a, open, though? I'm going to have a slant back, a uh, little Bimini top. I didn't even see this. So this is 31 Model A. 31 Model A. 31 Ford Model A, full custom interior, custom frame. It's uh, bottom wow. These tires are 22 by 9, or wheels are 22 by 9, 32 inches high. When it sits on the ground, the wheels up to here. It's uh, on airbag frame. So you said this is a, frame. what do you call this? A? Uh, 1931 Model A. Is this like a, one of those like Al Capone? I think Kinda a Tommy like guns when I think about yeah, this right it's here. It's got a six inch chop. It's uh, a lot different than it was stock. But here, here it is sitting on the ground. When it's aired down, it lays on the ground. Cantilever front suspension. So a buddy of mine come up with this whole concept. So when it's laying frame, when the frame's on the ground, front tires are up there, this pivots off of this, so what happens when you air, the, air it up, yeah. it pushes the front up, so it pushes the back up, pushes the front down. Well, the axle can't go under the ground, so it lifts the frame off the ground. <sighs> and that's a motor, that's a 1947 flathead motor. 1947 flathead yeah. Offenhauser. That sounds like a freaking uh, German it name, German, right? But it's an old hot rod uh, customizing company. They make the speed parts. Out of the states. Uh, no, it was an American company. I, I guess it was a German moved to America, I guess. It yeah, that's his name, but he's out of... But, uh, this is dope, man. I appreciate you sharing yeah, that with yeah, me, yeah. man. You work on it yourself? Yeah. I mean, it seems pretty simple. No, it's not like... A, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Yeah, I see you got, you know, everything. I can, I'm not the best with mechanics, but I can, I can identify what's going on. Right. It's, it's a lot different than the new stuff. It's, it's easier. Because this year I said I was going to put a bike together, a dirt bike, just okay. to get familiar. I'm, I suck yeah. with mechanics, but I think if I could do a bike, small carburetor, little rebuilds right. here, there. Like, oh, this is awesome, man. Uh oh, here's a little gunshot right here. That's what I'm saying. That's the one piece, and I can't tell if it is or it ain't. But it's it hard to tell. It either when they come from this one. Of it, when they were taking armor off of it, they might have pierced it somehow, it, yeah. Hit it somehow. Yeah, this is, this is cool, man. I wonder how the gas run cool. with this. Anything. It drives I could only imagine. I remember having a GI Joe 
uh, joint like this, a toy that always yeah. comes back on his wheels. That's hot.